Good day everybody and welcome back to Ed Meister Tech. Today we have another exciting review coming your way and we are looking at a budget mic for recording or streaming and the reason we are doing this is if you look at the current prices of products some prices are really skyrocketed and um, it, it makes it difficult for content creators or game streamers or or anybody who just wants to use audio recording um, to get that good sound quality. And that is why we have here in front of us the Fifine T669 microphone. And the reason I am reviewing this specifically is because it is a budget microphone. Now in South Africa, you can actually buy this microphone set for about 800 bucks or 800 rand. Uh, we call it bucks in South Africa. But for about 800 rand, you can buy this microphone set which is an insanely good price for this mic. In the US, it will cost you around about $60. Depending on where you buy it, you might get it much cheaper. And for that price, I'm going to see today if this mic is actually worth buying and if it is really going to bring a difference to your normal recordings and um, is the quality good enough or does the price replicate the quality. I will get to that soon, but let's just first get to the unboxing of this mic. So to get to the unboxing of this microphone, the box is a standard uh, carton box or a standard cardboard box. It has the Fifine technology logo there and at the bottom there is just a barcode stating it's a T669 microphone. Now let's see what's inside the box. Right. So inside the box, you first get your Fifine T669 user guide that you can use for instructions how to install it, how to apply it and so on. Then you do get your pop filter from the start when you get this, uh, your pop filter, let's say out of plastic. The pop filter uh, does have a bendable arm and it's actually quite easy to bend it as well. So there's the pop filter. And then let's remove this styrofoam protection that you get then underneath here let's start with this there is a backup accessory pack that comes with some backup i see there's some rubber bands that you can use for your shock arm as well as some extra other add-ons then here is your shock mount that you get the shock mount is there you can attach it to your uh, boom arm and then it will absorb some of this shock and vibration when you do uh, record. Then you do get this. Uh, this is the windscreen that you can attach to the microphone. And then you do get this USB cable. And I must say, looking at this cable, this is actually very good quality USB cable. And there is your connector to your desk where you connect this to your boom arm and then you can just adjust this here as you can see you can adjust it here and you can fit it to your desk and it has quite a lot of space here so you can fit it to any desk what i like about this thing is there is a rubber foot here at the top where it will mount your desk like for instance like this but at the bottom unfortunately this metal um clamp if i can put it yeah let's call this the clamp this clamp that you get with it um, for the table connection, the bottom metal uh, of the clamp is not protected by rubber. So if you tighten this thing too much, it might damage your table at the bottom. So just take note that there is no protection on this uh, portion of the clamp, but you can maybe just add a rubber band or something or a rubber uh, foot to it and it will be fixed. So there's your clamp. Then, then here you get your boom arm and this boom arm is expandable and movable so that you are able to move it to where you need your mic to be and we will get to that a bit later and then here you get ah this is nice here you get like a small mini tripod for your uh, mic that you can use so there is a small mini tripod you can use to put the mic on your table just uh, standing loosely if you don't want to connect it to the whole uh, boom arm thing there's a small tripod actually quite nice it's not the most uh, i would say sturdy and uh, well best designed but i mean 
you get it with your microphone, so I won't complain. And then last but not least, your Fee Fine mic. So there is the Fee Fine microphone, guys. This microphone here is where you connect it to your boom arm or to your uh, tripod that you get, the mini tripod. There is your volume knob that you can adjust your volume of the intake of your mic. And I must say this mic is actually quite nice. It is made out of complete metal, or you can feel it's made out of metal. So it's metal designed. There's no plastic here on the top. Um, this also is made from metal. So I'm really impressed with the design of this microphone. And really, it is actually quite astonishing to feel the quality of this mic for the price that you pay. So yeah, very good quality of the, um, of the design here. Very good build quality, very sturdy build quality. And again, it's metal as you can hear there. So well done there to Fee Fine. It's a very good design by Fee Fine. No pun intended. Then at the bottom, there is your USB connector where you can connect your USB cable to your computer uh, for the recording of your content. So guys, there you have it. That's the unboxing. And in the box, let's see if there's no secrets at the bottom. No, nothing at all at the bottom. It is just nothing. So there is your unboxing. So let's get this box out of the way. So the microphone I was currently using was the Boya BY MM1 Cardiot Condenser Microphone. So I am going to compare the Boya microphone sound to the Fifine sound. Now the Boya microphone retails for about 500 Rand in South Africa, where this one is about 800 Rand. So the price difference is only 300 Rand. So we will then let's just see what is the difference between the two. But let's just get to the assembly quite quick. So you just unscrew here a bit so that you can connect this one here and then you'll see there is the arm connected to your clamp and now you can just tighten this to where you want it or you can rotate it a bit and this you can clamp to your table so at the top of your boom arm you can now connect your microphone's shock um, arm to it and you can just connect it like so and as soon as it's connected you can now tighten it or put it like you want to and then you can tighten it up once your shock mount is connected you can now connect your microphone to the shock mount and i will show you how to do that let's just put that out of the way on your microphone you'll see that this attachment is already connected to your microphone this attachment is for in case if you want to connect it to your mini tripod that you got with the microphone so you'll be able to let it stand around on your table like so um, but for now I am not going to connect it to this. I am going to connect it to the uh, shop mount of the microphone. So to do this, you just unscrew this here and then you just remove and then you just remove this attachment. Now you can go to your shop mount, put it in there and you can connect it. The one thing that I have realized here, and this is even before I've tested it, is that the volume knob of this microphone is here at the front, which means you can adjust your volume uh, for recording here on the microphone. But what I've noticed is as soon as you put it in your shop mount, the volume knob is not really accessible. So what I would suggest is play around with your microphone first, get your preferred volume that you want on the microphone, and as soon as you have it, Put it in your shock mount and then you can attach it with this attachment. And to attach it, you just uh, connect this here at the bottom. And you just tighten it up so that your microphone will stand in place. Then you can just add your windshield to your microphone. There you go. And to connect your USB cable, you just connect this at the back to your microphone like such. When this is done, you would like to connect your pop filter to it. And to connect your pop filter, you can just de-screw. Well, let's just put the mic away a bit here. You can just unscrew this port, this portion here. And you connect it to your arm like such. Tighten it up. And then you can adjust your pop filter 
to where you want your pop filter to be. Yeah, you could probably put it a bit lower on the uh, boom arm, but just to show you that is how you connect the pop filter to this microphone. First, I'm going to do a test with my old Boya MM1 uh, microphone. This is the sound of the Boya microphone. When I come closer, this is the way I will sound. You can hear me now when I'm closer. Sorry, the cable is too short. I can't make it to reach here. And this is where I sit normally and uh, do the talking. So this is just the, the mic comparison. This is the Boya mic sound. So this is now the mic test of the Fifine microphone. I have just set it up on the a tripod that comes with it just uh, as a normal test if you should use it like this without using the boom arm i will get to the boom arm shortly now currently it's connected to the tripod the volume is full on uh, the microphone so just to do a test that is how it sounds on full volume i'm going to adjust the volume a bit just to make it a bit softer there we go I have adjusted the volume on the mic a bit softer and I must say this volume knob is actually very good quality on the microphone itself. It's quite easy to adjust it. It has a bit of a resistance when you turn it and it is perfect for uh, well durability because I don't think this knob will break anytime soon. It, it feels almost like it has a metal coating on the knob. So well done on that. But there is my uh, mic test uh, on the tripod without any pop filter attached to it just so that you can get uh, the feel of how it sounds like on uh, the microphone with the tripod connected to it. I'm going to connect it now to the boom arm and then we will hear the difference. Right guys, so now I have attached the mic to the boom arm and I've also connected the pop filter to it. So I'm going to speak close to the mic now. This is how it sounds like with the pop filter on. Even if I sit here where I normally sit, this is the sound with the pop filter on the mic. And when I'm close by, this is the sound with the pop filter on. So you can be the judge there on how the sound setting is of this microphone. But I am very, very, very impressed with the quality of this microphone, to be honest. And uh, I would really uh, recommend this microphone for the prices you pay for it. It is an astonishingly good microphone. You can hear on this quality of the sound it delivers through this microphone. I am really impressed uh, with the sound. The only thing I want to mention is the volume knob that's on the Fifine microphone itself is not really positioned very well if you are using the mic on this control boom or this boom arm. Uh, the reason being this shock mount that it has uh, the bracket for the shock mount is actually covering the knob so you can't adjust the knob while you are connected to the shock mount connected to the boom arm and therefore you won't really be able to adjust your volume while it's connected to your boom arm so my suggestion would be to adjust the volume before you attach it to this boom arm and then from there you can actually then um, well just record and it will be set to a fixed uh, feature you can also uh, change the settings on your computer directly or on your recording device directly but just this is now the raw input I have connected this thing actually directed to the camcorder there just as you can hear the voice um, and the sound of it without having connected anything else and without having connecting it to any other uh, audio uh, studios or audio uh, programs this is raw input from the microphone to the recording device what i just want to mention is i do like this microphone's control arm it is expandable you can move it to where you want to uh, you can move it up or down if you want to move it up a bit or you want to put the pop filter a bit below you can do it i can move it up towards my mouth if i'm a person trying to sing or uh, like one of those guys who makes that uh, weird noises I won't really um, go into it after the twitch bands but I mean if you uh, are into it and you want to do it uh, you can actually use this for that as well um, and it is nice adjustable you can adjust it to where you want it and it actually makes no sound right guys so in general I am extremely excited about this microphone this microphone has extremely good sound quality for the price that you pay and I would definitely recommend anybody who's on a budget and need a recording device for their content that they create or for the streaming services that they do or the game streaming, whatever they do, I would really recommend this mic for the price uh, for the price that you pay for it. And um, therefore, I will give it a thumbs up this mic. So in general, just to go through some of the positives and negatives or the pros and the cons of this mic, I would definitely say one of the pros of this mic is that 
this mic is extremely, extremely affordable. I mean, it's only 800 Rand in South Africa, and that is not really breaking the bank at all, especially if you're an entry-level uh, YouTuber or an entry-level content creator. That is not really a big sum of money to take out. The other thing that I like about this is that it comes as a complete unit. It includes the tripod or the, the mini tripod that you get. It includes the uh, pop filter that you get. It includes this uh, boom arm that you get. It includes the shock absorber or shock mount uh, that you get. It gets this uh, windscreen or wind filter that you can put over the mic as well. And then of course you get the mic itself. And therefore the bundle for the price is actually very nice. So for the price that you pay, you get everything included. And compared to like this Boya mic uh, that I actually always used, um, it's actually a very good price because this boy of mine cost me 500 rand uh, when I was just starting out and I do feel this quality is much better and for only 300 rand more you get this whole setup with the control arm and everything you can use of it. I'm even finishing my outro of the video with this now. Uh, so, well, that's how impressed I am with the sound. So yeah, that's another pro that you get for the video. Um, and then the other pro that it has, it has very, very good overall quality. Like the build quality of this mic is insane. The whole microphone is metal, heavy duty metal. You can feel it. It's it's really solid. It really feels durable and sturdy. And even the, the brackets, the, the, the mount, the arm, the tripod, everything is actually very well built. Yes, the tripod is small and it's a bit flimsy, but I mean, it's well built at least and everything that you get with it is actually very 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 well built so i must say another pro for me is the quality and the build uh, durability and quality of this microphone another thing that i like about this mic or another pro that i have about this mic is that the volume or the input that it has the sound quality is good it's crisp and it's really not bad for the entry level um, and then the last pro that I have about this is that it's very easy to set it up. You can either quickly set it up just to your uh, tripod that you get, or you can set it up to this uh, control arm or this boom arm that you have. And it's easy to set up, it's easy to manage, and it's easy to install. I mean, you just plug it into your PC. Your Windows PC, for instance, takes about 10 seconds to recognize the USB and install it. So within 10 to 20 seconds, you will be able to have this thing connected to your PC and you'll be able to use it full time for your content. The uh, cons that I have about this or negative things I can say about this is number one, this control knob or this volume knob. The control knob, the design of it is awesome and it, it's really durable and it's nice to, to turn it around. It, it's really a nice knob, a lacquer knob, but where they designed or where they placed the knob on the microphone is very impractical if you are using the shock mount of the microphone because the reason being you cannot adjust this control knob here you cannot adjust it if it's connected to your shock boom or your shock mount and therefore that is one of the negative things i must say is that i want i would like to adjust the mic volume if i need to on the go instead of having to uh, unmount the microphone all the time just to adjust the volume. So that's one of the cons that I have for this microphone. Then another con that I have is it's not the best microphone out there. I have used a lot better microphones, not on my own channel, tested with some friends and used in the uh, company that I work with. Um, we've had a lot of better microphones there that has much better quality and uh, other features, but I mean, then you look at about 2000 Rand plus for the, the microphone, where here with the Fifine, you actually get a lot of bang for your buck. And that is why I say, I am actually quite impressed with this microphone. So in that case, why aren't you buying one yet? Uh, I feel this is really a good microphone. You'll definitely not regret buying one for your content channel. And I do think that it is a very good microphone in general. So that is it, guys. I do appreciate you all for tuning in once more to my channel. Uh, I appreciate all of your support. And I would really appreciate if you can continue supporting this channel. I have a lot more content coming your way. And I would really appreciate you guys if you would just subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you get notified of future content. And please share with your friends. Uh, I would like to grow this channel to as much as I can. Thank you again for tuning in. This was the Fee Fine Mike. I appreciate you tuning in and I will see you again soon. Cheers.